Hey everyone, this is my first uh, V1.1, um, the Argyle V1.1. Really excited. Let's open it up. Man, I have really been working on my self control here. Yesterday I did a wrapped unboxing, and then this one, being able to to get it and then not rip it open immediately like a kid on Christmas. Okay. I really went to town on this. Was this you, Mark? Did you put all this plastic on here? Funny story is I bought this from Pluke, actually. Um, and it has been custom refinished by Mark Chang. Uh, and then Pluke wanted to sell it. I buy it, and then I tell Pluke, I'm in Canada. And he's like, I hate shipping in Canada. I'm like, fair enough, man. So he's like, I'm just going to send it to Mark, and then Mark can send it to you. I'm like, cool. Sounds great. So he sends it to Mark. Mark sends it to me. But, funny story about it, let's get rid of this, is that, yeah, sure, I'll tell the story first. Um, so Mark actually sent this to me, um, an OG Magnus rail. So it's one of the only Magnus pieces I have left. Um, and he just, he just sent that to me out of the kindness of his Mark Hart. And he sent it um, USPS. No big deal. USPS ships to Canada, all good. Uh, he sends it. And then after about, you know, two weeks, we're like, hey, what's going on? Where is it, right? We're looking at the tracking. And long story short, in the very end of this, it took, I think, 36 days for this to get here. And it went to the Philippines and cleared customs there before finally coming back to Canada to me. Now I'm calling that an absolute like fluke, mess up, one off for USPS because that usually never happens. But um, yeah, so you know, on the Mark scale, I would give Mark a solid 11 out of 10, as most of you know. Um, so when Mark wanted to uh, send this to me, he was like, there's no way I'm doing USPS again. We're going, you know, UPS, so much faster this time. Oh, Pluke, what newspaper did I get for this one? To read what's going on in your area. Cool. Oh, super excited about this. Ugh, oh, look at that. So happy I was able to get this gunmetal custom finish one. It feels very special to me how it's been, you know, made by Ivan and then refinished expertly by Mark. And look how well it matches my V3. Okay. Never used this track track one before. Wow, those are strong magnets. Okay. Mark said I have to do it like this. Do the the post on the top. Oh, this is gonna be a learning curve. I like it though. It is loud.
Oh, Pluke, my wife's going to hate this. <laughs> Awesome. I'm gonna have to take some time with this. Get my uh, get my muscle memory working for it. I'm obviously not there yet. One thing I'll say before I go, the the gunmetal finish on it it makes me feel like this is like some sort of um, you know like war vet's fidget or something that he's like taken to Nam, and he's had you know forever and you find it like you know in your grandfather's like trunk of things like after he passes away when you're doing some like estate sale might sound weird but that's what it makes me think of and I love it thanks so much Pluke thanks Ivan thanks Mark cheers <laughs>